Hey guys, what is going on? This is card number 5. Today I have some gameplays for you guys. We're trying to get to the World Series, so I figured I might as well start showing some gameplays. In this first game, we are facing uh, some DR team. They weren't actually uh, really that good. Not really sure how I even matched up with them. I think I let my bar go all the way. Um, but anyways, we'll start it off here in the first, and we get a walk, and Ian Kinsler's still second, and then Kenny Powers takes a... It takes the pitch to opposite field, of course. You see that a lot in this game. And we go up 2 to nothing, And then Reggie Jackson, next a bat. He just cranks it. Reggie Jackson is... I love that card, guys. I don't know. It's like I didn't really use it last year. Um, maybe it's just because there's not many cards uh, available at this time right now. like Especially flashbacks. But he seems to hit everything. Anyways, we have Strasburg pitching. Next inning, we strike our opponent out. And, yeah, this game didn't last too long. He quit right away. Um... Honestly, it was just kind of outmatched. I had a lot better team, so uh, we only get two points for that. So I do want to go ahead and show you guys another gameplay, of course, because that was really short. Uh, but I figured I'd go ahead and throw that in there. Might as well. Um, in our next game, we're going to face, I think, an opponent that was either in the World Series or on the verge of making the World Series. And in this game, we're facing Sabathia. Now, I really need to do a Sabathia review because I have mixed opinions on him, to be honest. Like, he's, a so he's probably the only solid pitcher you can get from Conquest. And he's pretty much free if you just know you know how to grind and beat Conquest. Um, he's not bad. I don't know. I'd like to do a review on him. Anyways, the opponent we're facing is 32-5, and five, so he has a pretty decent record. And we're f using uh, Noah Syndergaard. <laughs> and first pitch of the game, we kind of missed our spot a little bit. Um, I don't remember if that was... I think that was a change-up, yeah. There's a changeup. I did miss my spot, but I want to show you guys this PCI feedback. So that that was on the outer third of the plate, and he was early on it, and he hit it 109 miles an hour. Tell me how that makes any sense at all. Like I know in real life, hitters that crowd the plate a little bit can get that extension and drive that ball, especially down the line, but hit 109 miles an hour? That's just kind of weird. Anyways, our opponent is still a pretty good hitter. I don't want to take anything away from him. I mean, I get bullshit hits too. <laughs> but my opponent was actually hitting pretty well. Um, the ones he did hit well were either right at me or just stayed in the ballpark. But we do get the next three batters, uh, and we go to the first down one. Now, again, we're facing Sabathia. I take a few pitches of Kinsler. I love leading Kinsler off, guys. Like, he's an excellent leadoff hitter. And he hits a tank to left field. Uh, that Kinsler, guys, I mean, I highly, highly recommend getting him. Yeah, you can put somebody like Matt Carpenter or Daniel Murphy there, but that Kinsler's got a little bit of speed, stealing, he hits righties really well. He hits lefties, you know, really well. And he's got good power versus lefties and righties. So, I mean, I really like that card. It's very versatile. And our creative player, Kenny Powers, rips a single in the left field, gets on, and then Reggie Jackson gets a little uh, seeing eye base hit that luckily went through. That's my, that's my goal, guys. When I have a lefty on, I'm trying to pull the pitch because I get a lot of hits like that if you just pull it. You might not hit it well, but if you pull it between that hole, sometimes it is based on luck. And here we try to do a hit and run. Uh, the previous pitch, I did a hit and run and fouled it off. But for some reason, I don't know, either I'm stupid or uh, the game didn't register my my hit and run. So it was an easy double play for Miggy. So we get two strikes on right, and he go ahead and cranks one out too. Um, I, I do want to show the feedback on this one. This was more of the middle of the plate. It, did, it was more middle away, but you can see there it still got a little bit more of the middle. And I actually had good feedback and I hit a line drive on it. Still, though, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think of those two feedbacks. I'm... I'm very uh, particular about the feedback, and I'm trying to be very critical on it. So tell me what you guys think of those first two home runs. Uh, not the first two home runs, but the home runs I show the feedback on. Uh, did my opponent deserve his home run, and did I deserve my home run? Is the game too lenient with the timing this year? Uh, anyways, he gets a slow roller in front of the pitcher, and I'm seeing a lot of hits like that again this year. Um, I realize that's a tough play in real life, and as you can see there, we jammed him again, but he did have some tough luck, and he lined out to our right fielder. Uh, in the next inning... Again, Kinsler comes up and hits another tank. I can almost take two strikes with this guy, and he still just uh, hits really well uh, in his swing. I don't know, something about his swing. Um, I think that one definitely caught more in the middle of the plate, though, so I didn't show the feedback on that one. Kenny Power. Kenny Powers takes a walk there. We get Reggie Jackson up again, a 3-0. And Sabathia, at this point, has lost his confidence, and he can't find the strike zone. He goes goes ahead and brings Carter Caps in. Um, we get a... there uh, Right there, I'll say it. I get a BS hit with Mickey. But Miggy gets a lot of those hits. I mean, he even got them last year, but it doesn't make it right. I wish they would kind of fix those hits. Uh, I don't know, but I can live with hits like that 
as long as they're not like hit out. It's just ridiculous. Anyways, we get bases loaded for David Wright. He tries to throw a high end fastball with caps to right. Wright goes ahead and singles, finds the hole. Again, I'm lucky some of these are finding holes, but I am on them. I'm hitting them pretty well. Then Granderson comes up. I'm under a slider. I overcompensated a little bit, and we're going to leave the bases loaded. And we could have done a lot more damage, but we go ahead and do take a 6-1 to one lead. And we go back to the third here, 1-2 count. And we do a little backdoor slider. I think it kind of fooled him. The sl slider is very hard, and it just kind of fooled him, and he didn't have enough time to react. So that was a good pitch. And then next inning, Clutch takes a, I think that was a fastball, kind of middle away. Um, yeah, that's kind of a dangerous pitch, but we do go ahead and uh, take that out of the park when my opponent sends a concede. So those are two quick games for you guys. Um, I'll tell you where my rating is now. I have some more gameplays coming as well. And if you guys have any ideas on videos, please let me know. But anyways, our opponent was two points away and he conceded. I wouldn't have conceded because you never know what can happen in this game. But we do get 23 points, and we go to 855 there. So we're itching ourselves closer and closer to the World Series. Uh, let me know if you guys like these type of videos, and feel free to comment and like the video if you like it. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Carnal Number 5 signing out. Peace.